hi everyone and welcome this video we are going to see how to tune your hyperparameters so to understand this hyperparameter tuning let's understand how we build our models first so here we have this data set and then after doing all the pre-processing we split this data into training set and testing set but we have seen that there is a problem with randomly choosing this training set and testing set so that's why we come up with k fold cross validation so here we do this cross validation where we divide this data set into different folds randomly and each fold serves as training as well as testing set so here we have divided this data set into three folds let's say then we build our model and this model could be any model be it supervised or unsupervised and here let's say random forest logistic regression svm decision tree etc so this model could be anything now there are different parameter that you have to decide right so in random forest you have to decide how many decision tree it should build right and in svm you have different parameters like kernel your c gamma and decision function right so how do we decide the optimal values of all these parameters so let's consider this decision tree here and here we have this parameters of decision tree there are many more parameter but here let's consider this four parameters so here the depth is the maximum depth that this decision true tree should have right and it could be any value any value that you can give then you have criterion it could be either guinea or entropy then you have mean sample split minimum number of samples that should be there in the node for any further split and you have minimum samples live minimum number of samples in your leaf node right so you can have different values and how do we know what is the optimal value for all of this parameter right similarly if you want to consider svm there are different kernels and you can have different value for c parameter and gamma then your decision function so how do we decide this optimal parameters of this svm and decision tree right so one way could be to try out with different values for all of these parameters and write a for loop but to write a for loop then it is going to take time right and here it is not the right way to it that's why we are going to use this scikit-learn package here and in scikit-learn we have two methods to do that one is read search and randomize search there are other methods as well but here we are going to consider this two and we are going to see what is grid search and randomize search so here let's say i have a build a decision tree and we want to find the optimal value for this criterion it could be guinea or entropy then max depth four or five and max sample split it could be eight or ten so here we try to find the optimal value for our parameters and the process of finding this optimal value of this hyperparameter is known as so a parameter is known as hyperparameter tuning so in grid search cv what it does is it tries out all this combination of this parameters so it builds a read of all of this combination of the parameters and gives you the optimal parameter for your model and it also does the cross validation as well next you have this randomized search cv so now that grid search does the task why do we come up with randomized search cv right so randomized search cv 
randomly chooses this combination of parameter grid and it tries to find out the optimal parameter let's say if you want to try out with just four combination of this parameters then randomized search cv going to randomly take for all of this four random combination of this parameters so this is this consumes less time than your grid search but yes there is also chance that you might not find the optimal value for your hyper parameters so i hope now you are aware about this grid search and randomized search and how you decide your hyper parameter and next we will see that in action in python